What non-horror movie is actually really scary? A scene from The Elephant Man by David Lynch. When the disfigured man is laying in bed and the carnival guy breaks in through the window and charges people to see his face haunts me. The way they dance around him laughing when he is dealing with so much mental anguish sticks with me. The movie, 9. The way that machine just sucked the soul through the doll's eyes and mouth were burned into me. All dogs go to heaven saw the first 20 to 30 minutes in the theater when I was about 5. 30-ish years later still haven't watched it. And still can picture the scene that caused me to lose it. As a child, I was terrified of the Pinocchio donkey scene. Does Watership Down count? The 1978 version. It's not categorized as a horror but as a kid's animation, adventure yet it has blood and gore in it. Scared the out of me as a kid. Couldn't sleep for days. I still can't watch it. AI. Artificial intelligence. I watched that pretty young and the whole thing was fairly traumatizing. Also. Honey I shrunk the kids. Scorpion's man. Who framed Roger Rabbit scared the out of me. Especially with the Judge Doom scene at the end when it's revealed he's a tune. I saw Return to Oz when I was a kid during a sleepover. I didn't get any sleep that night. Saw it again a few years ago as a 30 years old. Still scary. The Brave Little Toaster. Terrifying clown monster traumatized me as a child. The Spiderwick Chronicles scared the out of me when I was young. It's a PG kids movie. But I swear in some of the scenes the tension and jump scares felt like they were for a horror movie. Mommy Dearest. It's about a narcissistic actress who adopts a child. Shows love initially. Then turns into a horrible. Abusive monster when the child starts thinking for herself. If you've been in an abusive relationship. This movie hits harder than any horror flick. Seven-year-old me would say Mars attacks. Comma. I'll still stand by it. Nightcrawler isn't scary in the traditional sense. But it's extremely unsettling. As a 10-year-old. I watched Spirited Away and even I really love horror this movie gives me a strange feeling. But still an absolute masterpiece. Coraline. It's technically a kid's movie but it's freaky as. Whiplash. Ever see J.K. Simmons and think, boy. He's pretty intense. He might be really scary if he weren't so funny? Yeah. No one laughs during Whiplash. Roald Dahl's The Witches. I was afraid I might get stuck in a painting or turned into a mouse. Also when you see Angelica Houston in the true witch's form for the first time. Francis Coppola's The Conversation 1974 with Gene Hackman. John Cazale. Frederick Forrest. Cindy Williams. Terry Garr. And Harrison Ford. All of the paranoia we have about the devices we carry in our pockets began to take root in the technology featured in this tense thriller. There's a lot of cool filmmaking going on here. And one of the most upsetting seconds long toilet scenes ever filmed. The monsters in this movie are us. And the tools we have created. Requiem for a dream is scary as. If you really want your kids to understand why drugs are bad. Just show them this movie, well. Don't show this movie to kids. Maybe on their teen years, a lot of frightening scenes. Graphic moments and a sad ending. HBO's Chernobyl was hands down the scariest TV series I've ever watched. Radiation is terrifying. Heathers bothers me because when it came out. It was really far-fetched parody. Now. It's uncomfortable because of how realistic it seems. I went to school in a high-achieving town. With a serious teen suicide problem. And a couple of credible bomb threats to the schools. It upset me that everything portrayed in the film was plausible in regards to the experience I had there. The Brave Little Toaster. Seriously if you had fond memories of it as a child but haven't seen it in a long time go back and rewatch it. That is crazy and messed up. An American Tale. Some of that stuffed me up as a kid. Threads. Nobody's mentioned it yet. It will give you nightmares. It is relentlessly bleak. You've seen nothing like it. I promise. It's the lead up to and long aftermath of a nuclear war presented as a factual documentary. It is not a date movie. Edit. It's on Shudder, 7 Day Free Trial, and Amazon Prime. Apparently. For anyone who wants to see for themselves. Toy Story 3. It gets so dark eventually and the bear just scares me. And Coraline. It should be labeled animation horror. I love both. Also for how dark they are being for kids. The Dark Crystal. No questions. 
Schindler's List. Can't believe such horror actually took place. The Ghost and the Darkness. Adventure thriller with Val Kilmer. It's like Jaws in the Desert. Except greater than, it actually happened in real life, less than. Doctor Who. The double episode with the angels. Children of Men. And it's only gotten more frightening in light of recent events. Are mini-series allowed? Chernobyl. Because I remember thinking, this feels like a doomsday sci-fi flick but even scarier because the science is real. Not a movie. But Courage the Cowardly Dog was terrifying. The Abyss. Just for the scene where Bud is sinking. Sinking. Down. Down. Into the blackness. Train spotting. The baby scene. But also Robert Carlyle's violently deranged character. It's just one part of the movie but Large Marge used to scare the out of me. I used to try to stop being scared by pausing the movie and forcing myself to look at it. War of the Worlds 2005 that alien sound and the crazy people and the airplane and the boat. It scared me cuz. The Labyrinth. Gave me nightmares when I first saw it as a teen. Hoggle makes me shudder. Jim Henson for the creep factor. I saw one of the puppets in real life at a museum. I'll never be the same. The Polar Express. Those creepy elves that looked like they just escaped prison. The Joker movie starring Joaquin Phoenix. It's not scary scary. Like an actual horror movie. But it just feels so accurate to the real world. I just feel like something like that actually could happen in the real world, maybe not the ending but the rest of it. Not really a movie. But I have a pathological fear of the Teletubbies. Not a movie. But some episodes of the X-Files can be super creepy. The scariest one to me was the one where the severely inbred family was discovered. If I remember correctly. The show vowed never to air that one again. Think it was called, Home. Gravity scared the bejesus out of me. The idea of being untethered in space and just floating away with no way to do anything? That. A Little Princess. That movie had me terrified I'd become some abused servant if my parents went missing. Adam Sandler's Click. I was expecting a very low loof brow comedy. Not a drama movie about the consequences of our actions. How time is not only finite. But the time we have with our loved ones is limited. It made me scared that one day I might look back and see that I wasted my life. Black Swan. That movie should be marked as horror. The Killing of a Sacred Deer. On Netflix. Holy. This movie is disturbing. Honestly? I thought after it was over I didn't like that. But it stuck with me. And I thought about it for days afterward. That's when you know it was a good movie. That kid. Holy. Barry Cogan. His acting was incredible. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang and that blasted child catcher. I always thought in the back of my mind if I misbehaved as a kid my parents would toss me outside for the child catcher to grab me and throw me in his cart. Cats. Absolute nightmare fuel. What dreams may come. Robin Williams. Dude. Monster House. It's supposed to be a kid's movie but it scares the out of me to this day and I'm still not able to watch past the first 20 minutes. The Watcher in the Woods is a Disney movie. It traumatized me as a kid. I still don't go in the woods alone. Father of the Bride 2 his oldest is out of the house starting a family of her own. His youngest kid is about to go off to college in a few years. He's talking about retiring. Then he finds out his wife is pregnant and he has to start all over again. I've lost sleep over this. The end of Raiders of the Lost Ark. You all know the part one meme. Freaked me out as a child. When I was a kid. The secret of NIMH freaked me out. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. You have that crazy tunnel scene. Kids being disposed off in some up ways. And of course. Grandpa Joe who is the worst. E.T.A. Damn it. I meant Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Although the Johnny Depp version is also emo. Parasite. You know what I'm talking about. Cable Guy. If it wasn't a comedy it would be one of the scariest stalker movies as ever seen. Jagten, The Hunt. Mads Mikkelsen plays a kindergarten teacher in a small Danish town and is falsely accused of sexual abuse by one of his students. Incredible movie. But absolutely gut-wrenching. I was scared of E.T. as a kid. The ride at Universal didn't help either. When I was 7 I saw Toy Story 3. The security monkey. Still hate that creepy thing. Toy Story. The whole series is about how toys are sentient and sometimes evil.